figure out what they do best. You know, we have enough of a package that we can, uh, you know, we can focus in on the things that those guys do well once we determine who, who those guys are going to be. I wanted to ask you about that, that flex position, I guess, you're, you're moving Marcus Robinson to. You know, just well, what, a, what no, a, Well, no, it's not a, it's not a, uh, uh, there's no uh, flex position. Well, Coach Golden said it's it's a position where he could play, you know, maybe the end sometimes, but mostly linebacker. Yeah, he's, he's got he's got the ability to do yeah do some things. So, uh, but uh, you know, just uh, you know, you try to kind of look for a guy maybe that has some speed, um, that has the ability to drop and give you some options and do some things, and, uh, and also uh, be able to rush. So, um, I think he's learning on the run. I think he's doing a pretty good job so far, picking it up. So, again, we're just trying to put the guys in position across the board to. to have the best, the best 11 out there first and then, and then have the best two deep. So sometimes it takes some time. you got to sort through it and figure out who can do what. Which freshmen so far have come in and really, in your eyes, proved that maybe they could play this year? Um, I've been pleased. I've been very pleased with, um, I think Chigolo so far has done a really good job. Um, you know, you know he's, he's a freshman and we're throwing a lot at him, but you know, he makes a mistake. He makes it 100 miles an hour. So and he's not made you know, he's not made a ton of them. So he's done, he's done a good job there. He's played really Hard and been rugged, and uh, I think he's been you know, what we had hoped uh, thus far. Uh, Denzel Perryman, I think, is a guy who's flashed quite a bit. Uh, you know, and I've, I've been, uh, you know, I've been, you know, we recruited him, and he's a highly rated player. But I've been, I've been uh, really happy with uh, his progress so far. Um, you know, those are those are the two that stand out. There's other guys that have flashed, and we're happy with them. Those are the two right now that stand out. Gianni Pino played some uh, yep. in the spring, I guess. And no, he, 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 didn't, he was in the summer early. Yeah. But is he? How's his progress going? Good. Johnny's Johnny's done well. You know, just continue to. You know, he's he's at that position where he's he's uh, he's playing in the middle and he's uh, right now we've thrown a lot at him. You know what I mean? And that's our uh, that's our mindset is we're going to put a lot in mm -hmm. early in the camp and then back off. You know, we're going to kind of throw it all out there for them and then can, you know fill it back in as we go on as opposed to. Doing something new for 15 straight days, we may throw all our defense in the first five or six days, and, and then just keep doing it over and over again. So I think he'll get more and more comfortable. Um, you know, as we go from there. Right now, he's a freshman. That's kind of mentally just you know not playing as fast as he can because he's probably thinking a little bit too much. But he showed flashes. He's made some made some good plays, and uh, he's getting quite a few reps. Denzel outside or inside? Or where do you have Denzel's playing outside right now. Okay, yeah. strong or weak? He's playing weak. He's playing weak force right now. You know, again. I'm just trying to figure it out, you know. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll determine who the best three are, and we'll make it work from there, and then get the best three behind them, as I said a few days ago. How much of the, this school's been four three for so long? Mm -hmm. Now, with the new guys are sort of putting those three four elements in, how much of that have you been able to really install, and how comfortable do you think those guys are at it? I think they're getting, I think they're getting real comfortable. I, I, I feel good about the returning. But when I say returning players, I mean the guys that practice the defense in the spring. I feel like, uh, you know, those guys have really taken some steps. You know out there and I watched the first the first unit go. You know, most of those guys were here um, in the spring. So I think uh, I'm pleased with the communication. I think they're playing faster. I think they're playing more physical thus far. So I'm happy with the tackling. I'm happy with get I'm ha more happy with the fundamentals. I think we're we're straining on blocks longer and, and guys are, are uh, you know not jumping off blocks and guys are getting more physical in the line of scrimmage and I think we're I think we're tackling better particularly in the secondary. So I'm, I'm pleased with those things right now. That's the, those are the things I really want to Fix the scheme will take care of itself. When, when you're in the three four, I guess who's sort of running the first team right now? Who's, who are the guys? That are, I guess top, most tackle defensive end. Who are the guys that are right now looking really good? Oh, well, you know we got uh, Forston and Regis are, are playing inside force right now, uh, running the first group, and uh, uh, Andrew Smith and Chicolo playing defensive end force, and then uh, Cannon Gaines and Spence at linebacker. Okay, yeah, so you know, those are those are the guys that uh, that are playing in front seven uh, the first group. Are you feeling better about the depth on the D-line than maybe you did in the spring? I am. You know, uh, like I said, I think you guys won't be ahead. I think they do. I think he's actually... I'll, try, I'll try to change it up a little bit. <laughs> the depth on the on the defensive line, I guess. Yeah. Are you feeling better about it now? I, than I, you know, know I, I, I spoke. You know, I spoke to quite a few of you. You know, as a, a, on a preview, and I and I said that uh, you know, I'm consistent. I think with what what, what what my thoughts are and what our thoughts are, but we really tried to create competition. Um, you know, from the spring to try to add some guys uh, by recruiting some freshmen, recruiting some junior college kids. We had a mid-year kid, so I think we've 
think we've addressed that at the D-line. I think we, you know, we got a few guys back that were hurt. So right now we have competition, which is great. Because of this uh, defense that you play, do you, is there, do you find that there's probably some situations where guys maybe in different packages have different roles and they're kind of taking that opportunity to, to, to utilize that? I think so, yeah. I mean, I, and I think it's part of the feeling out process for us, you know, as I mentioned, quite a few of you. Uh, I'm still finding out what everybody does well. You know, 15 practices is, isn't a whole lot, you know, at the end of the day that they, that they give you in the spring, and then all of a sudden you throw a bunch of other guys into the mix here where we're only, you know, four practices in trying to f figure out what they do well. So it's really just, uh, you know, it's a puzzle. You know, you're trying to put the puzzle together. You're trying to get the best 11 on the field, and you're trying to get the best 11 behind them, you know, and uh, not, not to be vague, but really that's at the end of the day. You're trying, to, you're trying to rank your players continually, and you're trying to get the best guys on the field and not have somebody stacked behind another guy who's – one of your best 11 players, and that's the challenge of just trying to make it all fit. Mark, I'm sorry, I just wanted to ask about Chickalow. What have you seen from him in the first four days? And, you know, he's been, you know, he's been everything we, you know, we had hoped for. You know, he's really, you know, rugged, tough, plays with a, plays with a great motor, um, means a lot to him. He loves football. He's passionate. He studies, so he hasn't made a lot of mistakes. He's made a few, but he makes them. He, he makes them full speed. So, um, you know, been real happy with him. And again, that's when you. When you when you inject a guy like that into your team and into your lineup, and particularly in that defensive line, um, you know, all of a sudden that's a guy here that's here right now that's not going to go away. And I think that's a message to everybody else who's at the defensive line. Some of the other players were pointing out on the line that he's actually I have something like 250. He's bigger than, way bigger than they were as freshmen. Is he more physically developed also? Yeah, I mean, he, he plays, he, you know, he, he came in here in the, in the two, I think, 252 or 254 range somewhere. I think he weighed in when he came back when he came into camp. So, um, you know, I think uh, he's played. You know, he's played strong. He's going to continue. You know, continue as a young guy. Really got to work hard at the, throughout camp. That you know, we don't look up and all of a sudden he's he's down eight or ten pounds. Two more questions, sure, guys. He makes sure he eats real well and, and, and keeps everything up. But he is strong. It comes to the competition at middle linebacker. What's important for those guys? What are you looking for from your starting middle linebacker? I think, you know, the, the, it, most people assume middle linebacker, that's the guy that has to call the defense, and he's the one making all the adjustments and all that kind of stuff. doesn't really need to do that. I've done it both with, you know, the Mike or the Will linebacker. The most experienced linebacker would be the guy to call the defense. So I think that's a, that, that term, middle linebacker, I mean, I think he's, he's, one, of, he's one of three. You know, uh, he needs to be rugged, uh, you know, against the run game. He needs to be able to be instinctive and make plays. But I think... Uh, as far as he, he doesn't necessarily have to be the most uh, audible guy out there. That could be certainly, you know, Spence or whoever calling the defense who, who knows it the best and getting us some adjustments. What's given Gaines the edge so far, do you feel like, in camp? Consistency. Consistency and work ethic. And I think he's outworked the, the, the guys that, the, you know, have, have been behind him. I mean, really, at the end of the day, he's learned the defense. He's, he's been consistent. And uh, I want to say he's got consistently better. How, how does, how does, how does, how does Fudge?